we're four weeks out from E3, everyone's hard at work. We're right at the apex of excitement and terror. We've been pushing really hard for the E3 demo. Uh, it takes a lot of focus from the entire team. We're sweating and, uh, and suffering, but it's coming to fruition. It's coming, it's coming together. On the E3 demo, I help coordinate the AI team, which is a team of programmers, animators, and designers. I work with two of the AI teams on AC3, so the behavior and ambience team. For behavior, we worked on uh, all the tree running the climbing sequences, the assassination moves that you see in the demo. We didn't have animal before, we only had uh, the horse. So it's a whole new wildlife that you can interact with. They react to you, they react to how you behave with them, they can kill you. <laughs> the three demo's pretty much done. Like, uh, we got a lot of the animation stuff looking good. The fight's a big one. That's often changed in between games, but this one we completely threw it out, changed the controls, changed all the animation. Every time you move through the environment, you should be seeing new animations. For right now, most of my time, especially as we get closer and closer to the finish line, is like spent like cranking out pages that I can't show you because then people would have spoilers. All right, this is the Foley room where we keep uh, all the props uh, for sound design. We're doing a mocap shoot. We've got, uh, I think, six cinematics in the whole demonstration. So it's getting real actors to suit up and do real acting. It's giving the, the characters real authenticity. Every other team has all the hard work. We just make little movies. It's, it's fine. at the E3 demo for the team. We just wrapped up the demo, we're ready to put it in a box and go back to finishing the game. So everyone's about to see two and a half years of their own hard work. Hopefully they like it and uh, hopefully it's a big success.